What's up YouTube, it's your boy Angler Boy T Black checking in with a whole nother video. Today I'm in the kitchen and I'm gonna be showing you how to make saltwater fishing chum from a few ingredients that you should have at home. The ingredients today will be cut up fish, grunts typically, the tails and heads of sardines or pilchards, cut up squid and the guts from inside, bread, oil typically menhaden oil but I'll be using vegetable oil today guys and oats and my best friend Mr. Blender guys so that's all you're gonna need guys now that we have the ingredients ready what I'm gonna do is pop open the blender drop in some oats not too much a little bit of oil Get that nice and wet. Some squid chunks, sardine heads, not all of it. And a couple pieces of these grunts, guys. Just about half of that. Then, what you want to do is throw in some of your bread. I already have some cut up in this bowl, guys, so I'm going to throw it in like this. I'm putting the blender in the sink because I do not want to have a mess all over the counter guys so that's what we have then I'm going to add some more oil to that then pop the top back on and give it some power the blender give it a look guys check that out it's coming together nice and well so let's add some more of our ingredients in more bread looks good add some water to this bowl get those juices out of there and throw in the rest of this guys oh yeah pack that down in there throw a little more oats on top make a full batch guys I will be using this chum in another video most likely another day because the weather doesn't look too good for fishing but I did want to upload some content guys try to keep the videos coming for you all simple guys five minutes and we'll have some chum so let's get this mixed up one more time Guys, as you can see, I'm stopping the blender and actually mixing it up a bit just to get those heads and everything from the top down to the bottom. You know you're doing it well when the blender starts to add more space to itself, meaning that everything's getting smaller, guys. Everything's getting into a nice mix. Check that out, guys. Super simple. You can do this from home. And... Once I bring this out of here, I'm going to show you guys, of course you know how to use it. You just freeze it up and drop it in a bag and drop it in the water. But I'm going to show you guys another way where you can make chum balls, guys. So if you guys go deep sea fishing or whatever else type of fishing from any other thing besides a structure or shoreline, you can actually launch like one pound balls into the water, guys, and it will dissolve over time just like the chunk bag guys so i'll show you that once i get this out of here let's get this mixed up some more there we go now you hear that smooth sailing guys Alrighty, give it a look check it out guys look at the nice consistency on that chum check it out guys check that out resembles tuna so looks like we got it one last tip if at any time you might add too much water and you think that your chum is too watery you just take a couple more sheets of bread break them up like that and throw them in there guys and it'll start to thicken it back out so don't get worried guys alrighty guys as you can see I got the kitchen all cleaned up here's our chum transferred into another bowl so I can take it right on the water check out that guys I'm going to show you guys really quick how to make the chum ball now, as promised. You take just a little bit, guys, 
of this like you would do a tuna sandwich on one sheet of bread move that to the middle and fold every corner over guys then once you got it like this you take another one and cover up the open side and fold that over like that and ball it up nice and neat then you take your hands lightly wet them and pat it down guys just like that and once you freeze this up I'm telling you guys this has some weight to it you can throw it pretty far and it's gonna sink to the bottom before any birds can get it guys trust me this is what you want to do because once you throw out the whole brick it kind of just dissolves guys this you can throw one every hour every 10 minutes every five minutes so trust me guys I have two right here and this probably will last me a good hour of fishing guys both of these and I will still have all of this left that I can actually freeze it and then throw it in a bag like I would normally do a brick of chum you buy from the store so hopefully you guys like this video I made this chum using only fish I caught bait that I bought oil water and a blender from home guys with a little bit of bread or one loaf of bread guys that would be all you need for this video hopefully you guys find this video helpful for your saltwater fishing guys and don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe thank you see you next time